Hello, thank you for joining me for Cooped Up with the Carter. I'm Megan, a gallery teacher at the Carter Museum. I am so excited because it is finally April. That means beautiful weather, blue bonnets, but it also means National Poetry Month. For this episode, we have a special guest, one of our inaugural Carter Community Artists. She'll be sharing an original poem inspired by one of the works in our collection and giving you some ideas for your own creative writing. Enjoy. Hi y'all, my name is Diane and I was a Carter community artist during the 2018-2019 season at the Carter Museum. Today, on Cooked Up with the Carter, we're gonna celebrate National Poetry Month. I'm gonna read a couple of poems that I wrote about two of Elliot Porter's photographs. And these poems are haikus. There's a few things that we wanna know about haikus. It's a traditional Japanese poem and there's three lines, and they don't have to rhyme, so that's easy. Um, what's important about these lines are the number of syllables they have. The first line has five syllables, the second line has seven, and the third line has five again. These are also considered mood poems, and they're often written about the weather, or the seasons, or nature. And they're always written in the present tense, so you can talk about this present moment. So I'm gonna read two poems um, that I wrote just last year, based on Elliot Porter's work. This first poem is based on Porter's photograph and the long title, very descriptive title, is Mountain Tarn, Stony Pass, Colorado, August 8th, 1958. A soft summer air enchants the still mountain tarn broken only by raindrops. Now the second one is based on Porter's photograph entitled Sun Reflections, Pacific Ocean, Big Sur, California, February 2nd, 1959. Freckles of sunlight reflect off the ocean's face. The trees whisper, jump. Okay, let's look at the haiku as a form a little more closely. So remember that it is considered a mood poem. So we wanna talk about maybe our feelings or the sense of the, the mood in what we're seeing. And right now we're looking at Elliot Porter's Mountain Tarn photograph. So there are three lines in the haiku and instead of rhyming at the end, we're gonna focus on the syllables having five, seven, and five. So this photograph was taken in August in Colorado. Um, and you can tell maybe it's uh, maybe warm perhaps. If I were to walk into this photograph, into the scene, what would it feel like? Uh, how would I describe it? So since it's important, I think that it was photographed in the summer, I wanna describe maybe the summer air. So I'm gonna start with my first line, five syllables, A, soft, summer air. So, A, soft, summer, air. So there's my five syllables for that first line. Now the second line has seven syllables. So I want to describe more of what I see or maybe how the air is um, making me feel. And since it is a mountain tarn, I want to add that to my visual description in my poem. So my second line with my seven syllables is going to also continue what I wrote in this first line describing the soft summer air. And chance the still mountain tarn. So that should be seven syllables, let's see. And chance the still mountain tarn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good. I'm gonna add a comma. So to finish up my haiku, my third line has five syllables and I want to use this opportunity to describe maybe how the stillness in the image is being affected by those few raindrops we see falling. Um, haikus are often about nature and the seasons or the weather. So I wanna continue with that theme here. And I'm not gonna use a metaphor or a simile, 
Uh, we don't see those in haikus. And I'm gonna keep it in the present tense to describe this present moment. So again, it's as if I'm standing there looking around in this photograph, thinking about what I'm seeing or hearing or smelling. And so I wanna finish up with what I'm seeing with these raindrops. And I'm gonna describe how the soft summer air is enchanting the mountain tarn. I'm gonna go with broken by raindrops. And that should be five syllables broken by raindrops. And that's it. So here's my haiku about Elliot Porter's mountain tarn photograph describing what we're seeing or feeling if we were maybe just standing there inside that photograph. Good luck writing your haiku. Remember, it doesn't have to rhyme, so no pressure there. And have fun with it.